Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share NapsterNet VPN internet from your Android or iPhone to any other device without relying on a third-party application. Get ready to be amazed by how easy it is to share your VPN internet with other devices. The first thing you need to do is turn on your mobile data connection on your smartphone. Then, open the NapsterNet VPN application. Tap on the play button at the right corner to start the VPN connection. Once the VPN is connected, tap on more to find the SOX proxy and HTTP proxy options. These are the keys you will use to access VPN internet on other devices. Now, activate your mobile hotspot, either by using the quick access bar or navigate to your device settings to activate the mobile hotspot. Let's take a look at how you can connect to the VPN internet on a Windows computer. Start by opening the Start menu and click on the Windows settings. Select Network and Internet. In the left pane, click on Proxy. Alternatively, you can open the Network and Internet window by clicking on the globe icon at the right corner of the taskbar. In the slide window, Select Network and Internet Settings and then choose Proxy. Under Manual Proxy Setup in the right pane, toggle on Use a Proxy Server. Enter the proxy address and port provided by NapsterNet VPN. I advise you to use the HTTP proxy instead of the SOX proxy for optimal performance and connectivity. In the address box, type in 169.254 .1.1 and for the port, type in 10809. Once done, scroll to the bottom and click on Save. Now, connect your mobile hotspot and enjoy browsing the internet hassle-free. To connect to NapsterNet VPN Wi-Fi on your Android phone, follow these simple steps. Start by opening your phone's settings. Once in the settings, navigate to Wi-Fi and toggle it on. When the Wi-Fi network appears, tap on it and enter your password. After entering the password, tap on the arrow to expand the advanced options. Now, select Proxy and choose Manual. Here. Input the proxy address provided by NapsterNet VPN, which is 169.254.1.1, and for the port, type in 10809. Once done, tap on Connect. You should now see Connected under your Wi-Fi name, indicating that you are now able to use NapsterNet VPN's internet. Note, if you have a different Android version or device, go to Settings and select Network and Internet. From there, choose Internet and select your current Wi-Fi network. Then, tap on the gear icon to access network details. Tap the Edit button and go to Advanced Options. Under Proxy, select Manual and enter the proxy details provided by NapsterNet VPN. To connect and use the NapsterNet VPN Wi-Fi on your iPhone, follow these steps, tap on the iPhone settings, usually represented by a gear icon. In the Settings menu, select Wi-Fi. Toggle the switch to enable your Wi-Fi connection. Under the Wi-Fi settings, you'll see a list of available networks. Locate the Wi-Fi network you are connected to and tap the blue info icon next to it. At the bottom of the page, under HTTP Proxy, select Configure Proxy. Select Manual Configuration. Enter proxy details provided by the NapsterNet VPN. After you finish, tap Save. For Apple computer users that want to connect to the NapsterNet VPN internet connection, follow these steps. First, click on the Apple icon in the top left corner of your home screen. Then, select System Preferences from the drop-down menu. In the System Preferences window, select Network. Choose the Wi-Fi network you want to configure. Click the Advanced button 
in the lower right corner of the window to proceed. Once you get to the Advanced tab, select Proxies from the options. In the Protocol Configure box, select Web Proxy HTTP. Beside the Protocol Configure box, enter the Napsternet VPN address and port number in the Proxy Server box. Finally, click OK to save your changes. Now, your Apple computer is configured to use the Napsternet VPN through the proxy. To sum up, this tutorial has provided you with a simple method to share and connect to the Napsternet VPN internet without the need for third-party applications. By following these steps, you can easily configure your device's network settings to integrate the Napsternet VPN internet connection seamlessly into your system, ensuring secure and private online access. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you found it beneficial, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Stay tuned for future tutorials. Until next time, peace.